I wish I had somebody to go. Yeah, yeah. So, so when you get married with your child, and you got a you married to a man that has to come and be the father for your child, don't be upset if he spanks your child because you want him to spank you. <laughs> Y'all say that again. Yeah, yeah, I might need to say that again. Talking about don't spank my child, you want him to spank you? <laughs> But yeah. so all I'm trying to say is you've got to make sure that there's some times when the men are not in their place. Yeah. Why you think in most of our churches it's mostly women? Because yeah. the men watching the football game. Yeah. They watching the rerun from Mayweather and Pacquiao. Yeah. yeah, instead of being in the house of the Lord, they washing cars, they cutting grass. But the women were at church. Yeah. The women were praying. Even looking back on the farming of this church, my great grandmother and some other women in the neighborhood gathered together to start a church. Mm, yeah. Gathered together to pray. They knew that this neighborhood needed Jesus. They knew that this neighborhood needed God in this state. They knew on the dead end street somebody needed God. And so they began to form prayer meetings and begin to to worship God and begin to work on scriptures and do Bible studies. And then finally, there came a time yes. when it was a church. Yes. Let me tell you something. I don't care what church that you go to, you can't forget about the women. Yes. It'd be rough in here if it was just us men. Yes. It'd be pretty rough. It'd be pretty rough. Yes. Wouldn't be no perfume nowhere. Can you get here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Some of us like, you know, we rough men. And we ain't we ain't gonna do but so much. But I'm telling you, it's why sometimes when it's time to give God praise, who's shouting the women? Yes, sir. Let me tell you something, men, don't be too fly to give God praise. Don't be too macho to give God praise. But I'm gonna tell you something. If it had not been for God, you wouldn't be here right now. If it had not been for God, your blood would not be warm, running warm in your veins. If it had not been for God, Right there, 
trust me. Yeah. And so we must make sure that we're following God. So after a while, Paul began to get vexed because he knew it was demons speaking through this one. And so what Paul did, he turned around and asked God for the demons to be removed out of her. And he cast the demons out of her. But so now that she's delivered, she had people that were making money out of her being a psychic. Mm. She, had, she had boosters, if you will. And so they would make money off of her telling their fortunes. And so what, she, what ended up happening was they began to lose a source of income because the woman was delivered. Let me, take this, let me tell you something else. If you really get saved and really walk with God, the devil loses income from you being saved. The dumb man can't count on you no more. Yeah, the liquor store won't have your, your patronage. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah, yeah, the hotel, motel, holiday inn won't have your check in every weekend. Can I get a witness in here? I don't care if it's the Admiralty talking about $20 for two hours. They won't have that $20. God. And so, for some of you, if you walk in with God, the devil has lost some money out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell a witness in here. Yeah. And some of you got to realize the devil was your partner for a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah y'all drank together. Y'all yeah. spoke together. Y'all yeah. went to the hotel together. But now that you're on the Lord's side, he lost some income. Yeah, yeah. And now he is offended because his relationship has been broken. That's why it bothers me when people say, well, I hadn't had this much trouble since I, till I got into church. Let me tell you something. The devil was friends with you, so he had no reason to fight somebody that he already had. He had no reason to work against somebody that he already had in his possession. But now that you're on the Lord's side, now he's offended. Let me tell you something. You can only have a head-on collision with two cars going opposite directions. If they in the same direction, they can't meet each other. Can I get a witness in here? And so, since the devil has lost income for you, it's from you, now he wants to fight you. That's why people who you've been friends with for years now seem like you can, they can't stand you. That's why the job that God gave you, it seems like it's nothing but turmoil on the job. Because the enemy is fighting you. Let me tell you something. The devil doesn't care who he uses. He'll use your husband. Yeah. He'll use your wife. Yeah. Yeah. He'll use your children. Yeah. Your child was a straight A student all through school, but all of a sudden, now they want to act a fool. Right. Never had an end in conduct, but report card season just passed, and it was looking like a mess. Right. But tell you, that's what the devil will do. You never had a situation where the teacher called you, telling you need to come up for a conference, but now you got to come to the school. Yeah. See, it's not just the individual. It's the spirit that's carrying the individual. That's why you got to stay prayed up. But I'm telling you now, you'll be in a position where the devil will just run rampant in your life if you're not careful. And see, one thing about it, when you bind him in one area, he just shows up in another. Yeah, you tell the devil, I bind you now. Get out of my mind. Then he goes to your body. Sickness comes to your body. God, I bind you out of my body. Be healed in Jesus' name. Then he, then he goes back to your mind. And say, you know, don't, and you, you, I'm telling you, depression comes from the devil. Yeah. Have you sitting on the couch by yourself in the dark talking about, don't nobody care nothing about me. Uh-huh. Yeah, everybody's just, you know, just against me. Have, have you going to work and the folk who really are your friends, you can turn against them. Yeah. Have, I'm telling you, the, the enemy will bring depression on you if you let it. And for some of us, God is just waiting to see how we're going to act while we're in what we're going through. Because it's not what you go through, it's how you act while you're in. Can I get a witness in here? Tell somebody to keep your attitude right. And so now, Paul and Silas began to get in prison because these people were t- offended because they lost their income. And so now, they locked them in jail. They chained them from of their arms and chain their feet. Mm-hmm. And so now they're in a position where they need God to work things out. Yeah. And so in that position they said, you know what we're going to do? This is how we're going to handle this. Mm-hmm. Paul said, well, my name is Paul. It starts with a P. So right now I'm just going to pray. Mm-hmm. 
And for some of you, you just lost your prayer life. You hadn't been praying like you used to. You've been going through things and you forgot that you have a secret weapon. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to play a game 